Yup, mama said there'll be no days off and there will be days just like this. Come on. As the room fill up, be sure, be sure to hit the like, share this content, let a friend or that neighbor know where to go when it's time to tune in to Cowboys Sports Talk and Beyond. Cowboys, top five roster, need ahead of the 2024 NFL Draft. Let's get it. Come on. Yep. What about a Law Nation group? Hey, oh, give me a one. Let me see a one in the chat. If the audio is straight, live like this, I wish raindrops would fall. Come on. Shout out to all the mods, real. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on, let's get it. The name is Law Nation. The grind for your mind. Tuning in to nothing but the best of hits and oldies. Yeah. Let me crack your cranium and fertilize your brain. I love that intro. I, I tried to change it so many times, man. And I, every time I try to change it, it just come back to say, hey, Law, get that intro back going, man. And even when I did try to change it, y'all was like, nah, Law, just, just keep that. I just... You know, it, it just fits me, right? It, it's a um, universal um, music there, and others can use it because it's part of a licensing agreement. And when people hear someone else using it now, they're like, that's synonymous with Law Nation. Law Nation, that's your beat, man. That's your beat. <laughs> <laughs> so uh shout out to epidemic sounds man and uh for all that they do uh ladies and gentlemen I, and i thank everybody man for for helping the algorithm out and keeping things afloat during the off season and and a lot of people say hey man hey man there ain't no news out here man every day is cowboys news man every day is cowboys content that got to be um dispersed and that's right um Mari, appreciate you uh, Sadiq Charles, I, I really appreciate you. Uh, Chris Davis, appreciate everyone that's tuning in. If I left out your name, charge it to my beard, not my heart, right? Uh, Cowboy Nation, uh, before we get things going, I, I did a video. We, we talked about Overshone. Overshone, a lot of people were saying that he's moving slower than Methuselah or, well, that's older than Methuselah, right? Molasses, yeah, 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 yeah. He's moving slower than molasses out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, molasses, that's thick syrup, thick syrup from the trees. Um, he's coming off of a quote unquote ACL deal. So you don't want him just trying to prove the world that he got it right. You want to slowly, you know, move things and get things going. You don't want to rush him. And I think that he's taking the right and proper way of doing it. Let me see if I can squeeze it over. As we all can see, Overshone is trying to get ready and get back into shape. He's stacking good days upon good days. Now he's doing this drill. Let's mute myself. Okay, I'm going to mute myself over it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking for a second on it. But <clears throat> if you look at it, you know, Overshone, he is literally 11 to 12 pounds bigger. So that is what we need. You need you need size. Size matter. And 
If you think I'm lying, talk to the ladies about it, you know. But what I'm saying is you don't want to rush this kid. I, I, I think the world of Overshawn, I, I think that he is a brilliant brilliant guy, student of the game. And on top of that, when you think of all that he brings to the table far as last season, he was a sponge. He was soaking in as much as possible from the staff. And what you're trying to do here. And shout out to World Day, Earth Day, and everything. If what you're trying to do here is just slowly get him in, and hopefully you will have my guy Eric Kendricks to teach him and show him the ropes. And on top of that, we build upon that. Let's not rip him up and tear him down. And you can clearly see that he's bigger. He, he was a frail or frail size linebacker guy last season, and now you can see the growth aspect of it. Now, should he be running four cone drills uh, faster than this? You can say. You can say yes, but, you know, he's recovering. And when you do the four cone drills, it's all about sinking your hips out. Sink down inside, open your hips up, and it's about spreading those things out and getting, and it's about dexterity, turning, and things of that nature. So this is not a speed drill. Now, when he do the speed ladder drill, then we, we can talk about those things, but and he's working the cords or what have you. But he's going to be a minute from those type of things. Keep in mind, this is April. There's no football in April unless you plan for the UFFL or whatever, you know. So all I can say is to give this man the time and chance to, uh, to get things going, and, and he will be okay. Um, it will be, it'll be the world to see also other guys working out. And I get it right now, a lot of people – are, are angry and frustrated at workout videos because a third of the people will say, hey, this doesn't mean anything. And even my dog, Big Game James, will say, hey, it don't mean anything. But as a person of the content creation side, y'all keep doing things, baby. <laughs> it's off season is long, man. And they keep doing things. On top of that, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a football player, Document everything. There's football players that watch my channel. Document everything. Document it, man. Hey, if you jump rope and document it, you know, football, the National Football League stands for not for law. And you yourself got to learn that there's a other side of life outside of football, right? <laughs> This is a capitalistic society, and you trying to grow your brand. I know it's 53 brand uh, is not the thing to say, but technically you look at these guys and you can say, hey, grow your brand. Document everything because at the end of the day, you can have your, it can be the overshone workout practices. It can be you can build upon that. That's all I'm saying. And fellas, even those who are out there working. And if you're in some type of shape, form, or fashion of media, document everything. This is how this is what it started from. I started from the basement, and now I'm here. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. The dude that uh, that that do Amazon, he documented. He was working outside of his basement or in the garage or something like that, and said, "This is how it started." You know. Now I look at Amazon guy. I forgot his name. Tip of my tongue. But all of those boys. So uh, neither here nor there. Uh, I got my trusted notes um, th of the tackles. I got 12 names on this list. Of course, the title of this is is who we should go out there and get. In the draft, we have the 24th, the 24th spot, and the Cowboys uh, should, the Cowboys should, that's the operative word, should be able to, to, to get one of these names that's on this list that I'm going to list out today, all right? Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Uh, let me put your uh, comments up on the screen. Uh, appreciate everybody uh, for your love and support and all that you guys do for the nation and with the nation. All right. So I have here um, my, my, my board. And the first person that I have, we're going to talk about tackles, of course. And if you look at it, we're going to go in this particular order of, of uh, series here. Tackles, linebackers, centers, wide receiver, running back. Now, out of this list, call me crazy. I wouldn't even mind if the Cowboys go without a tackle in the first round or without a center. I, I, I can, 
I, I can tell y'all that those two spots there are needs, right? But if a best player available option is there, it could still fall in the mindset of a wide receiver. That's all I'm saying. Uh, fight me later, but I get it. I absolutely get it. We drafted Awesome Richards for a reason, right? Not like he's trash can juice, right? And we got Tyler Smith. We got TJ Bass. We got uh, Brock Hoffman. Zach Maud. No, I even put the T in his name. And we have Terrence Steele. In the words, in the words of uh, my guy, what more Tyrese. do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> well, law man, what you mean, man? Well, if I'm Mike Zim, and if I'm Mike McCarthy, I don't have tomorrow as a backup insurance. I got everything today. I got to win now. They they got one foot in, one foot out with me, right? So I got to go best player available, BPA. I can't draft a guy to sit a guy. <laughs> they did that with Mozzie. They drafted him and set him. <laughs> they did that with Luke Schoolmaker. He hurt. <laughs> he hurt. I drafted him and set him a few games. You know, I don't have time. <laughs> Look, man, can you do? No, I'm out, I'm out of time. I can't do all of that. But Rome wasn't building a day. Well, well, they giving me a day to build Rome, man. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody says Riggs Riggs They giving me one day They giving you one day to be a Rome Wait a minute Lord, You already had You already had four years man Come on man What else you want to give him What more do you want Riggs <laughs> What more do you want from me <laughs> Well, well, they finally gave me the full keys, and I got to make sure everything look good. Um, and, and that's just the reality. Oh, okay. And it's a little too late. It's a little too late. But uh, I'm going with our award today. And and, and we, then we go over this. I forgot to say this on the front end. But I'm going with our award. Uh, and I know y'all might, you know, shout out to the South Carolinas and all of them and all of them, uh, Camilla and all of them. But uh, – I think that Clark is going to bust it wide open. And I'm going to tell her, bring it back. She's a beast within the sheet. Oops, wrong song, wrong day. My bad, y'all. But I'm going with that uh, on my prizes. And then we're going to see if we can get this uh, 7K going, man, with the baseball groove. And uh, so far, I'm going to share this just in case someone uh, want, want to part, party with me. Let me see if I can share this right quick. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, boom. And uh, you guys can do the same on your prize picks or what have you. And be sure when you download prize pick, use promo code LAW, and they will match up to $100, 100% of that on your first $100 deposit. Okay. All right. Let me get to the uh, Cowboys content, and I appreciate each and every last one of you all. Appreciate all of the sponsors, too, by the way. All right. So keeping the spirits up, I see you, Holly. Appreciate you. All right. So with that being said, the Dallas Cowboys on this list with the 24th pick. You got Joe Alt. He's not going to be there. But we've seen crazier things happen, right? Gas mask. I think even if he have a gas mask with, the, uh, with my guy, Vaj Lombardi, say gun under the seat, I think that he still be gone before the 24th spot, you know. Uh, Fuaga, I think that he will be gone. He's my second guy on this list. And this is just me talking about tackles, right? Um Troy Futana, you know, I'm going to mess up some names this year, but it is a possibility that he will be there. He's six foot four, 317 pounds. I think that that will be a situation for us. For Shanu, I, I think that he, he may, it could be a possibility that he dropped. My thing is, we're talking about first round. We're talking about the 24th spot, right? And um, my thing is, J.C. Latham, I already did film reviews of him. I think for sure he's a right-sided guy, not necessarily looking at him on the left side. Uh, Mims, he's so raw, Pauls, that he, you might as well just keep awesome. Right? You know, if you, if you are... Mike McCarthy, you sitting there like, yeah, I don't have time to do project stuff, man. 
Uh, Kingsley, uh, Marcus McFarland. I, I do like Kingsley. He is 12. This, this is the guys. That, look, 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 this is how I'm going to tell you. This is what I'm going to tell you. The guys that I got in front of. I'm just talking about tackles that I got in front of Kingsley. Joe, Fuaga, Troy, Illuminati Fashana. You know, Illuminati. I don't call him Illuminati. Uh, JC. I got Mims in front of him. Uh, Graham Barton, Tyler Godden, Jordan Morgan, and then there's Kingsley. There's a lot of guys that I, that I got in front of him. And I can tell you that, you know, even when you think of uh, the, the Kingsley kid, you know, I, I think that he does a great job with versatility. He's very versatile. He got an impressive stance. Hey, everything with his drive his, is, is all there. Yeah, he's really explosive. I like his tape. I like what he can do. But there are problems. There's our problems. When they when they double team the guy or what have you, <laughs> there's t- problems with timing. You know, uh so I, I think that you can probably scoop him in the second day. But there's no third days for him. Here's the thing. With these tackles, the ones that you really want, the ones that you really like, the ones that you can really dive deep into. Shout out to your common sense, man. Appreciate you. Uh, Shout out to everybody, man, that's tuning in. Um, The problem is none of these guys that I just mentioned is going to fall to third day. None of these guys are going to fall to the Saturdays and everything. This will be, and then they're going to go by real quickly, as we seen last year and the year before that, the year before that, that these guys are going to really much so go by real quickly. And and I was watching one of one of the shows, one of my guys, man, Vach, he was talking about, you know, thick and th- thick, thick. <laughs> it, it's, it's a thick offensive lineman class you know but this can also be thin it can be thick and thin <laughs> and it is about to come at liking it to a lady you could have a thin thick person you know so that's just what it is thin but thick and that's just what it is y'all this is thin but thick with offensive linemen and i hate to you know take the show that way but that's just how it is you with these offensive linemen you got to jump in before the third round, because waiting around there is going to be a, a situation. The only problem that we have is with this whole equation is that with this thin but thick offensive line crew is that they're going to go by real quickly. It, it is not going to be something that you can sit back on. All right. So when we start talking about guards, there's been storylines with Jackson Powers. He's dropping. Zach Frazier, he's available. Van Pan, Van Pran, he's a guy. Um, and then I got Drake from Michigan. And I know how y'all feel about Michigan boys. So those are your centers. Out of all of that, I am still want to give my shot at my guy Brock Hoffman. I still want to give Brock Hoffman a chance outside of Jackson Powers Johnson. You know, maybe he can drop – to the second round, but how far do you think that that's going to really happen? You know, so that's why I look at this offensive line group as a way whereas we have the 24th pick and we have, what, the 56th pick or something like that, 54th pick. You're going to have to make sure that if you get that, it will be in line with what you want. Now, when we look at this uh, sheet of what guys that we really need, we can start talking about linebackers. Tyrone Church says uh, he's trading back. He's trading back now. Let me let me tap into this right here. I, hey, I, I I don't I don't mind trading back. Here's my only solution to trading back. Is when your guys, your scouting department, and the people that's doing all of the research and you take feelings out of it. You take feelings out of it. And you literally, and I like what Brian Rodder said, tags are touching. And if you got tags that touching and you got the 24th spot and you know for sure that there's 
three other teams that don't even need the areas that you are at. And somebody is willing to get to that spot and you only sliding back four spots and you can pick up an extra pick and tags are touching anyway. And you know for sure that you got five to six guys that you can get and there's only four, four spots back. Shoot, you trade back, you grab that. Because there's no, it's really literally all of that good for you because when there's when you're looking at tags or touching meaning that if you have an offensive lineman as well as a wide receiver or multiple offensive linemen and linebackers and they all tags are touching and you're sitting there like man i can pick up an extra pick because i don't have necessarily a fourth round pick i need to get these guys i need to get as much as i can out of the top 100 because this is where I eat. This is where I've been starving. Everybody else is a little full, but I'm starving right now. It would make no sense, literally, for the Texans to draft a wide receiver in the first round. It won't make no sense. They already sent, sent, sent in everything they need and want for that. But it makes plenty of sense for the Bills to draft in the first round a wide receiver. So it's take a little poker face too, ladies and gentlemen. So if I know for sure the Bills, they shanked us last year. I think that we were going to get the kid that their tight end, what's the tight end name, y'all, that the Bills drafted, his name at the tip of my tongue. I'm quite sure that the Cowboys were high on him. And they scooped up and said, okay, let me jump in front of the Cowboys. Then they went and got Mozzie. So now it can be the reverse effect. Ken K, appreciate you, Marcus. <laughs> so now it can be the reverse effect. We could be star putting fillers out. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These wide receivers start dropping a little bit. We can do the reverse effect, and then they can be looking at their board and sitting there saying, hey, man, uh, there's no way. I know neighbors won't drop that far. I don't, I don't think neighbors would. But we've seen crazier things f happen in the draft. I know Rome, shout out to my guy, <laughs> Rome Cowboys, Cowboy fan talk. I know Rome or Dunes won't drop that much. But you see a Brian Thomas Jr. right there, and you thinking of AFC, NFC, it really don't matter. But if you're thinking about trading with someone who who needs a wide receiver now, then that pick become valuable. That 24th spot become valuable. So then you can put out fillers. Remember, this is still the lion season. Oh, yeah, this is the lion season. They may have my guy, A.D. Mitchell, Hook them longhorns over Brian Thomas. But they're going to put out fillers and say, hey, man, we still may go get. We haven't signed. We haven't signed C.D. Lamb yet, and we're looking to replace. And they can start having these things leaked out. Remember, this is the lion season. And then all of a sudden, you, you hear draft day trade. The Bills have traded with the Cowboys on the 24th spot. The Bills will be sending the Cowboys a swap or a conditional second, whatever, you know, whatever it may be. Then they go get Brian Thomas for their quote-unquote Hall of Fame quarterback Joshua Allen, right? <laughs> he will need somebody to throw the ball to. <laughs> It's, 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 it's crazy, though, but Josh Allen, he needs weapons. <laughs> we'll see what he looks like without Stephon Diggs. Mm -hmm. But uh, speaking of that, um, I do have Brian Thomas over Mitchell, and then I have Ladd, and then I have Troy Franklin, uh, and then I have uh, the Roman Wilson kid. Those are my guys right there. Uh, I know a lot of people are high on Jermaine Burton as well as Keon Coleman. But I'm looking at it like this. Who can help your team out now? And if the 24th spot is there in the Cowboys, like my guy Jeffrey Woods say, Brian Thomas, 
if Brian Thomas is there, do I like Brian Thomas over, let's say, hmm, Kingsley? Yes. Do I like Brian Tom- Thomas over Jordan Morgan? Yes. <laughs> Jeez. Do I like Brian Thomas over Tyler Guyton? Yes. Do I need Barton, Graham Barton over? Do I need Graham Barton over Brian Thomas? Yes. Do I need Tyler Guyton? Yes. Now we fight need versus wants. But Brian Thomas is by far one of your better wide receivers in this game. We're coming out and going to be one of your top dogs. And when you have that reachability to draft him, you got to figure it out. You got to do those things, man, you know, to figure it out. That's all I'm saying. Do you guys get what I'm saying? BPA, best player available. Yeah. So what what tend to happen here is is a lot of people will, will look at it like, all right, well, we already got wide receivers. We already good at that spot. We don't need you. Shoot. Shoot. Man, you, you got to look at it like this. If you try to win today or you try to win tomorrow. I like the way I like the way my guy broke it down. Let me see if I can pull it up over here. Listen to this right here. My comp, the outstanding route runner Brandon Ayuk. Here's a skinny on Thomas. He's so smooth that you think he's jogging. And then mm. next thing you know, he's even. And you know who when a, when a good receiver's even? You're leaving. He's leaving. <laughs> Watch this, though. <laughs> no hesitation. Got him. Look at this. Look at this. And you just, you just leave him. Funny, bro. Watch this route in the end zone. Though. Watch it. Ah! ah. <laughs> Two feet in. Got both 14. of them in there. And you don't have to have right? both of them. Ooh, look. Great form. Ooh. Got to get low. Get low. See that? <laughs> look how he lowers his body weight, goes underneath this. Yo. Look. Watch this. Watch. Ooh, look, look at this. Look at it. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. This kid can play. Whoever gets him, he's a baller. He's going to be your number one wide receiver, whether you like it or not. Hey. I like Steve Smith, how he break down stuff, man. And <laughs> he is not going to bullshigger you, you know. He looking for dogs, man. A dog know a dog, you know. he Steve Smith, not Stephen A. Smith, but Steve Smith, he knows how to look at them dogs, man. So what I'm saying is you can't let that pass you by if it's there. Now, granted, Troy, I like his tape. Uh, Fuaga, I don't think he's going to be there. Uh, Graham Barton. Those are all future stuff, man. It's like, hey, man, 2027, 2028 and beyond. If I'm Mike McCarthy, I'm looking at it like, hey, um, you guys don't believe on me enough. Y'all don't believe me enough to sign me for next year. I got to win now. Hey, Dude got all of his toys last year and the year before that. And his name is Dan Quinn. Got a lot of toys. I didn't get no toys. I had to go find my toys. I had to go get, I had to go hurry up and get Luke Schoolmaker. <laughs> that was my toy here. <laughs> Everybody else, man, was on the defensive side. Right? So he didn't have a lot of toys. <laughs> yeah. So when we look at that, and I know it could be crazy. Uh, uh, Chris Blunt, I mean, he's 1,000% right. We need dogs in Dallas, man. No, and those dogs got a lot of heart. But you stump one time, and I'm talking about those Pomeranians, those New them Yorkies or what have you, and you stomp one time, it's a trail of urine. No, we need dogs that's going to bite and bark and get things going. Not talking about all players, though, by the way. No puppies, right? Just straight grown man dogs, right? So uh, it, that's just what it is. And and no offense to any of the uh, players here, but that's just how that, that conversation flowed at that time, right? So I guarantee you that there should be a value pick at 24. There should be. There's 12 names on this list along with tackles. And there's another 12 of, of it with 
the um, with the with the wide receivers. But I'm thinking that you know at the end of the day, the wide receiver pool, there's only about who I would get at the 24th spot: a Mitchell, Thomas, Rome, Neighbors, Harrison. That's it. Nobody else is granted at the 24th spot. I'm not going to get a Troy Franklin. I'm not going to get a Roman Wilson. I'm not going to go get a Ricky. I'm not going to get a Jermaine Burton or Keon Coleman. I'm not going to. So, so that list is very thin. Running backs, none of them. I'm not getting not now wanna. It, 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 it rhymes with marijuana. I'm now want to get now one of these running backs. I don't care how they turn out. <laughs> I mean, this dude could be the next Adrian Peterson. So, good luck to that. I can wait literally to the third round and get me a run back. Now, if you're greedy, if you're greedy, you can say, okay, I'm going to get Jordan Brooks in the second round. <laughs> that's, that, that's what we call reaching right there, right, ladies and gentlemen? And I hate, I hate to beat that up. <laughs> but you're not, you're not getting a, a Brian Thomas in the, in, in the fourth and fifth round, you know. And then it could be systems and stuff like that, flash in the pan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get all of that. Now one of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Swain, you speaking my Mississippi language. Yeah. JV Boy says, Law, am I wrong for wanting center just a little bit more than a left tackle at 24? <sighs> Ah, let, let, let's talk about that. I'm glad that you mentioned center at 24. Center at 24. Who do you want? Like after Jackson Powers John, Johnson, Zach Frazier, Van Pran, you got the Drake, you got Hunter, and you got Tanner. I don't think that this center class, and I could be a million percent wrong. Okay, you're looking at BB, you're looking at guard, move, moving him to center. Okay, you're looking at that type of stuff, right? You're looking at positional flex. You put BB at center. Do you do you want that? I, I, not at 24, though. He, he, BB at them, you can go get none of them. None of them. And, and somebody right now who's who's deep into like guard play and tackle play, they punch and win right now. They're like, "Hey man, hey man." <laughs> but at this time, I'm looking at it like, will these guys have the ability to outperform Awesome Richards, who's already have a year with Mike Zolari? T.J. Bass, who already have a year with Mike Solari, and as well as um, <clears throat> Brock Hoffman. Those will be your conversational pieces. And we know how the love goes for uh, Matt Wellesco. They're trying to get his shoulders and arms and stuff like that together, right? I'm, th I'm thinking that when we, when we start thinking about how the Cowboys rock and roll, they literally red-shirted Awesome Richards, who didn't allow a single sack, I think, in two years playing, at, playing in college. And I know that's college. And they put a guy, Chuma Idoga, in there who that they, be, they believed in big trust because of experiences. And it cost us moments in games. Chuma Idoga. So we have problems right there. We're ripping the Band-Aid off. And I'm not saying that the Cowboys just off of value of us drafting in the first round that all of a sudden, uh, uh, offensive lineman in the first round, that, that we're going to draft an elite guy. It don't work that way, y'all. Because <laughs> we thought that that happened. We thought that that happened even with us playing in the playoffs. Playoffs. Cowboys for 16 straight games, one home game. Oh, man, we're beating everybody, not taking names or nothing of that. You know? And then we get to the playoffs, and then we lay the egg, right? 
I'm not saying that with the 24th pick is that whoever we draft at the offensive lineman that they're going to be trash. No, I'm not saying that because of the uh, circumstances. But I'm not saying that whoever we draft is going to be go jacket guy either. <laughs> we can't use that as a as a go to punchline thing. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, Kennedy Kennedy says, "Damn, if we only if we took a left tackle to develop these last few years with Tyron aging, would we truly be drafting BPA?" Oh, wait, we did. Well, let's go. Ball, Richards, go get a BPA, develop one year, one one of them players you have already. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm cleaning it up. You know, I got my hooked on funny guys. Uh, yeah. Well, let's go. We didn't see his full potential. Joshua Ball. I, he can't ball right now, bro. You know, I'd rather go pick somebody up in, on this on this damn uh, chat right here to put in that spot. Richards, he got promise right there out of those guys that you mentioned. But you got to you got to put them out there to see what you got. You got to put them out there to see what you got. Did Tyron Smith hold us back or held us back for all of those years? Did Tyron Smith hold us back for all of those years? I don't think so. From my from my mindset, I don't think so. I, I just think that the Cowboys, they always aim to be the smartest person in the room. They always aim to be the smartest person in the room. I thought that when when we were looking for a guard, that we were already solidified there. There was no reason to draft Connor, Connor Williams. I thought that, and here, this is my thoughts, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on this. And I never played lime. I've never been 300 pounds. I've never been over 250. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no big dude. But I can see, and my eyes can see, that I know for sure, have a side that you know for sure that can be solidified versus having pieces where holes can be at. They could have literally kept the left side straight. Tyron, Lyell, Travis Frederick, Zach Martin, and then you just worry about the right side. But what they did was they created more and more holes. And when you think about it, you know, the quarterback right side, we ain't worried about that. He can see on the right side. It's the blind side that you got to protect. Connor Williams in the second round, to me, was a spot that we could have went somewhere else. Lyle Collins should have stayed at left guard. He never, true story, he never allowed a sack in his career at left guard. Yep. <clears throat> so that's just what it is. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tra lost in translation. Thick law. Yeah, thick, you know. And you can be thin and still be thick, right? And it, it, there's differences between having a, a thick situation in the draft and a deep situation. See, the wide receiver, like the running back, I'm going to go running back. It's a deep draft in the running back game. This is a deep draft for the running back. But it's deep on the back end. I mean, nobody won't be mad if we draft Jalen Wright right now, right? But not in the first. Blake Corum, he's really nice. Bucky Irving, he's nice. He's on my list. Trey Benson, Ray Davis. Yeah, not over no cornbread. Ray, Ray, that Ray, you know. Uh, Marshawn Lord, you know. Uh, my guy, Audric Estim. Uh, my guy, Braylon Allen. Will 
Will Shapley, Shipley, yeah, I like him too. So this is a running back uh, group that's deep. But it's deep, deep on the back end. <laughs> oh my gosh, man, he's in your windows, man. Yeah, Frank Gore is deep. So Swain said slim thick, right? Hey, man, <laughs> let me talk about these defensive tackles, though. Oh, my gosh, man. Oh, my gosh, man. Let me talk about these defensive tackles uh, that's on this list because I, I was going to use an analogy, but I don't want it to go over anybody's head. <laughs> I want to use an analogy so bad, but I think it's too early, man. It's too early for that analogy. Yeah, yeah, it's too early, man. It's too early for that analogy. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's too early for that analogy. I might say, just, just say, hey, long towards the end, just say that analogy, man, so I can get it, man. Uh, and I, 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 I give it to you. Appreciate you. <clears throat> you got the Illinois kid, man. Zer John or Zerhan or Patrick Z Zokulahan Newton. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. He's 6'2, 295. And he would be by far your 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 best interior guy outside of uh Byron Murphy. You look at feet work, but you're looking at those bigger boys, and and it's always can he can he get upfield? Can the motor continue to move? And is the explosiveness is it there? I think Newton could give you that. I think that you know his size may be an issue, but he got natural flexibility. I think that he, when you look at everything, I, I think that he will be. Well, well, Johnny, yeah, 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 Johnny, yeah, tight. Shout out to your Italian cowboy, always coming through on the clutch, man. All right, yeah, but but here's here's the thing is with um, the Cowboys. Right now, we have Osa, we have Mozzie and and Carl Davis. Those are those are our interior guys. Um, I heard on Skywalker show the other day that maybe you bring in Calais Campbell for a cup of coffee and, you know, put a shot of espresso in there and, and some Geritol, whatever you need to get that man going and moving. Maybe you do that. But but the Cowboys, we are razor blade thin in the inside. So we we going to have to draft somebody. I think that they're going to use the uh, second round for an interior guy. I uh, heard that they like Braden Fisk to a degree. They like Byron Murphy. He's one of the 30-day uh, visits in, in Shot of Vodka. Yeah, yeah, Kevin. <laughs> Don't give him too much, Hennessy. He might pull a law, you know. Liquor always win. Law, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't give him too much Hennessy, though. <laughs> Don't give Calais Campbell too much Hennessy, man. Shout out to the Campbells. Uh, but Byron Murphy, he's 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 the Soto kid, right? Duncanville, the Soto kid. So if anybody heard that song, I put on for my city. I put on, I put on, I put on. Yeah, yeah. He'll be one of those guys to put on for your city. Why not go grab him? Grab him and hold him. Hold him and grab him. And uh, I, I think that he will bring that explosiveness. He will bring that dog factor to the table. But the thing is with Byron Murphy, he ain't going to be there in a second. Mm -mm, he, he ain't going to be there. He ain't going to be there. So when you think of it, you're going to have to figure out a way. Uh, Chris Jenkins, I think that he will be there in the second round. Uh, but, you know, a lot of y'all are going to look at it like, nah, law. Um, 
Nah, Lord. Look, just we Michigan out, man. <laughs> Michigan, we are Michigan out. We don't need another Michigan guy. I don't care if he could be the reincarnation of Aaron Donald. You know, <laughs> we just passed that one out. <laughs> but but Chris Jenkins, he holds up well against double teams. Pound for pound, maybe one of the strongest guys in the class again, right? <laughs> At first you don't succeed, then you go get, you go get it and get it. <laughs> All right? And then he got very good technique. And um, you, what you're looking for is lateral movement because as far as penetration, pause if necessary, uh, he, you know, he have a little issues there. Short arms guy, you know? <laughs> But he's versatile against long arm people. So uh, I, I, I would say that the Cowboys really, really uh, got, got their homework to do. We need somebody from Uganda. <laughs> oh, man, we need some vibranium and all of that stuff, man. Uh, Michael Hall. I like Dwayne Carter. Uh, I, I like some of those boys. I, I think that who did a phenomenal mock draft. That fit right on in. Let me see if I can pull this up. Bear with me. Well, I'll pull this up. And it had a little bit of all of it. I think my guy been doing some great homework all together. Let me pull up this right quick. Boom. <clears throat> this is uh my guy who who's fighting all of the media people, man. My guy Jay Tuck. Boy, he fighting everybody, man. Y'all help my guy Jay Tuck out, man. He don't need no help though, by the way, but but he's fighting all of them. <laughs> Shout out to uh Jay Tuck and his uh new media new media movement man and i appreciate all what he does for the nation all right so he went with the 32nd pick this is a trade back uh into the 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 final pick of the draft what have you and the kansas city chiefs proudly became one of those teams the rich get richer type of deal and they probably draft brian thomas can you imagine brian thomas on the chiefs you'd be like come on man (laughs) But, you know, that's just how the rich get richer, right? All right, so with that being said, you got Jordan Morgan with that first pick, the 32nd pick. That will be still a situation that I heard news that they like that kid. They, they like him. So, And uh, I think that even Mike Solari went to work out with him personally. <laughs> All right, uh, Keon Coleman with the 56th pick. That solidified a lot of things, man. Uh, That did. That solidified a lot of things. You got Keon Coleman. Uh, You got you a taller taller target guy uh, who runs routes pretty smoothly for his height and size and stature or what have you. Is he a blazer? No, but he got deceptive speed. You know, everybody looking for a 4-3. Some people looking for a 4-2 guy. Man, we had about two or three, four, three guys on the team and couldn't even get them the ball. So, hey, look, just make sure. Just make sure you get a guy that can ball as a dog, right? (laughs) All right, uh, with the uh, third round, the 87th pick, the Cowboys select Jeremiah Trotter Jr. What better way to stick it to the opposing teams that's in our division is going to get one of the sons <laughs> that used to play for them. And you get Trotter on this team, you you know, uh, I, I've said this season, go get the bloodline for your mind. Bloodline draft. You should get one. It should be a draft where you get at least one bloodline. You talking about selling tickets and storylines for your mind, Jerry Wayne and them? You go get you a bloodline guy. Go get him, you know. <laughs> and then you go get Dwayne Carter, who's who got an unbelievable skill set. I do like his energy, his burst, his get off of the LOS. I like what he can do. I think that my dog uh, Vach, he did a uh, a film analysis on him. Either it's on his Patreon or it's on his Twitter. So y'all go and check that Dwayne and them out, Carter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I can think of a drop. Hey, Mr. Carter. You know, I'll play that drop if we get him, you know. And then, hey, with the 134 pick, you get Breland Allen. He's already in Dallas. They got him in Dallas. Let me see if I can pull this up. 
Not TikTok, but Twitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got heard him click on that sometime. Twitter, Twitter will show you something. You be like, hey, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. What is that? <laughs> That's Twitter for you. All right, so you got him already in Dallas. Got him in Dallas. Working out with Sanders Fit. And if you ever seen Sanders, this dude, he's a real fit dude. He ain't no little dude. And they got him looking like he little dude, you know, Paul's in the middle. And look how big, like, it's crazy. Look how big Derrick Henry is. He's considered a big back. And Breland Alex is considered a big back. But Derrick Henry got him looking like Deuce Vaughn. Don't, <laughs> Derrick Henry got a boy looking like Deuce Vaughn over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Them boys, them boys being super, super athletic though. <clears throat> Twitter, we, <laughs> Twitter would take the feathers off things sometimes. Yes, it, man, Twitter, man, shoot. <laughs> Twitter, Twitter is crazy, y'all. Y- y- y'all be careful when y'all jump on Twitter. And then he got Jordan Jefferson. Shout out to him, LSU kid. And then he got his center late. This would be by far a spot where uh, Tanner will, will, he will compete. Tanner will compete, but I think ultimately Brock Hoffman will win and ward off him for a couple of years or what have you. And then you got Trevin Wallace, who if we were to do this draft, like before like combine stuff and before we got a chance to look at tape, Trayvon, uh, Trevin, Trevin, Trevin Wallace would have been first round, second round guy. So it's amazing how the world works. And then you double dip with your chip with Rasheen Ali. I would love, I would love that. I would love that. See, when we were talking about the draft and the running back, it, it can be, see, the running back is like this. And I, I'm going to go ahead and say it now. You know, we got enough people. It's three, some, it's three o'clock somewhere. See, the running back room is thin but deep, right? She can be thin but still deep, right? So the running back room is deep. So (laughs) it's thin but it's deep. So it's a deep running back class, and somebody at the 244th spot can still get you a running back that you like. Thin but deep. The offensive line is (laughs) – Slim thick, you know, so there's two different variations of it all. Somebody said, like, Lord, man, what, what's going on, man? Well, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> it's deep, you know. You're like, God, dog, how deep does it go? It's, it's deep. It's, it's deep. It's deep. It's thin, but it's deep. So you're going to have to make sure you do your homework so that you can get every every situation of the corners out of it and get it get it going, baby. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> no, no diddy. Yeah, no. Shout out to you. Uh, appreciate you. So those are ways where you can really look into this. But if you haven't done your homework, you will never get down to the bottom of it, right? You will never, you won't even get to the walls, you know? So you got to do your homework, Cowboy Nation. And I'm telling y'all, man, my guy Jay Tuck, this list right here, who's all in favor of this man, Mock draft right now, you know? Shout out to <laughs> this way. It's a brother love. Yeah. Shout out to you, Brandy. Brandy, appreciate you. No offense to the ladies, too, by the way, you know. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. So y'all like it? Give me a give me a one in the chat if y'all like my guy J Tuck mock draft. Yeah, I don't think I had the patience to do this one, you know, but that's really that's really dope. You get Jordan Morgan, it solidifies your tackle. You get wide receiver. And uh, now all this does is going to literally, it's going to literally make Jalen Brooks and then also Jalen Tolbert look at it like, oh, oh, that, y'all going to do this to me? That's a wasted second round draft pick. Watch what I do. You get Jeremiah Trotter, and then it goes back to this. Now you don't have to rush this dude right here. You don't have to rush over Sean. But then Overshawn in his mind and his mental capacity, he's going to be like, oh, okay, uh, you know what? You know what I'm thinking? I need to rush myself. No days off. He's going to be thinking that, hey, you going to do this to me? No days off. No days off. No days off. 
That's what he's going to be saying to himself in his mindset, you, you know, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful time, man. I, I thought I would jump live and go over some things. Uh, salute to, and once again, I'm going to give a shout out to Prize Picks for all that they do. Uh, appreciate Prize Picks uh, for all that they do. Uh, be sure to check out Prize Picks. They are the presenting sponsor of this t- this show. 100% of your deposit match up to $100. Use promo code LAW, ladies and gentlemen. And these are the picks that I got on the line today. Hopefully that one can hit, and then we can be popping champagne bottles, ladies and gentlemen. And on top of that, uh, we got uh, Iowa. Uh, Clark, I think that she she's phenomenal. Hope, hopefully she'll be able to show us something and get things going. And then, uh, of course, South Carolina. It don't really matter who wins. We're going with more or less with this. And then uh, with that being said, uh, appreciate everybody, man, for, for tuning in and being special to the, uh, to the nation. I, I really do appreciate each and every last one of you all. If you guys were a part of the last pick entry that we selected the other day, we hit them up big the other night. Came away with uh, 1,500, you know, and I really appreciate you guys for your support. Be sure to, when I share those links, just jump right on in and be a part of it. And, hey, hey, somebody just like me, man, we rolling around pretty good uh, off of that 1,500 deal. So appreciate everybody, man, for tuning in, Cowboy Nation. Uh, Be sure to hit that like, share this content. And, And I want to share this one right here. There was a guy, I didn't get his name. But they came in all the way from the Bahamas uh, last year, right before we played the, um, I want to say the Eagles. And we did a great job of winning <laughs> that, that, that game. And it was a great deal there. And I want to share this with you guys because uh, I, I think I never shared it with most of you guys until <laughs> now. Yo, man, there you go. Where, you gotta, there so you where are you coming from? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me pull it up on here, though. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up on uh, Instagram. Appreciate everybody, man, uh, for y'all's support and, and love and adulations. Um, the Dallas Cowboys, we on our way, baby. We, we are. We flat out on our way. We just got to we just gotta make a few things moving. And I know some people right now are like, hey, man, put that Kool-Aid away, law. I'm not drinking it. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. I feel you don't want to drink the Kool-Aid, but it's all good. Man, there you go. Where, you gotta, there so where are you coming from? Freeport, Grand Bahama, man. And you watch Law Nation from the Bahamas? Oh, yeah. My God, boss. Every day. My son will tell me, man, you watch this every minute of your life. (laughs) I watch Law Nation every day. Every every moment. Every moment. (laughs) Every moment, Law. So, how did you feel when you ran into Law Nation at the Man, I. This is. It make my day today. For me to. Have my hand and law nation hand. Let's go, man. Yeah. Nah, let's go. Yes, yes, indeed. yes. Let's make my day. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I told y'all this happens. So sometimes you gotta just gotta get this experience. I told y'all every time I'm with Law Nation, like literally every time you go see this happen. The number one independent YouTube in the world is my boy Law Nation. Hey, Law, <laughs> how does it feel? When you see fans come from across the world to see you. Well, well, well I feel great, man. It's, it's a wonderful feeling to know that my family is on all corners all of the world, man. The That's world. good, man. <laughs> I know I got a home in Bahamas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Where's that flag? Right here. Look at it. Yeah, yeah, man. You got to show them, man. They came now. They, I'm sorry. Dallas oh, yeah. Cowboys yeah. are worldwide. Yeah, you I want to tell go. y'all this. Yeah. It's a worldwide team. Worldwide the America's team, team that was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was 30 years ago. Oh, yeah. World yeah. Team. This yeah. is the world team. That's right. So thank y'all for definitely coming out. Yeah. So happy to be here. So happy to be here. I am happy. I standing on Law Nation present today. Because my when I watch this program, people think I'm crazy. <laughs> Law Nation. That's what's up, man. I, 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 this made my day. I love you made my day, man. All the way. I'm trying to hold back. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. 
I love that. I love that, man. Uh, hey, appreciate everybody. Somebody said I got I got people all in Antarctica. Beyond the ice wall, too, by the way. They checked in on me the other day, man. They, they visit me in my sleeps, you know? <laughs> like, hey, man, when you get done, man, we want you to go over here, man, where we got the uh, Bohemian Groves and all of that stuff going on, man. We're going to have to show you something, law, man. Hey, 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 we really appreciate you now. <laughs> you know, them cowboys, we can make it happen, though, but we're going to have to get rid of X, Y, and Z things to make it happen. I said, nah, man, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. True story, though, by the way. By the way. <laughs> but <clears throat> as we depart, man, I-, I want you guys to know that I give you guys my detailed list. Come on, exposure. There you go. I give you guys my detailed list a little later on. Right? All it takes, man, is one pick, man. One pick, man. One pick. One punch. One movement. I get it, man. We mad at Jerry Jones and them. We all in, man. Brandy. Thank you so much, love. Appreciate you. You still coming out to Oxnard, Brandy? Just let me know. You coming to Oxnard? You ain't going to turn away, right? That's my girl, Brandy. All it takes is one. And I get it. Some people were angry at Computer Man for spitting the truth. Law, I lost all respect for you. How can you allow him to say his points of view? If there's one thing a man should always do, it's mainly to himself stay true. Never allow someone to change your point of view unless what they mean or bring makes sense to you. Never judge a man by sight alone, nor by the height he has grown. And when speaking, keep it at a moderate tone because Ray's voices turn hearts into stone. You see, in the beginning, it was brother, I'll ride with brother, roll with brothers. The morals of life live love and respect for another. Then there are those who will try to be smart. They would take the decent man to alter his heart to seek to rip him apart. No man, and I mean just that, no man should call them a friend or a fan because they bend the lies around the truth to meet their end. All I'm saying is listen to what Computer Man was saying. It doesn't mean that what he said was 1,000% right, 1,000% accurate, but those are the hearts of the mind that he put out there. And nine times out of 10, Shoot, brother was spitting the truth. Cowboy Nation and everyone that's watching, be sure, and I mean just that, be sure to hit the like, share this content, let that friend or that neighbor know that the essence of the time of the mind is all right here. And we can rewind to this moment and say to ourselves, what more do you want from me? What more do you want from me? All it takes is one rock to shatter a glass house. Even the building that rejected the stone, that builder's stone can be the chief cornerstone. All it takes is one draft pick to change your mind. We got seven picks. Seven. Oh, why seven? Seven is completion. You just never know. So that's why I'm always going to wrap my minds to the positive things. That's why I'm always going to formulate my thoughts and my heart to the positive things. You just never know. You just never know how this thing can all flip around. Whether it was thick and thin or thin to thick, you can find that one piece to get with it, right? That's all I'm saying, Cowboy Nation. Just continue to figure it out. It seems grim. It seems dark. It seems like we're hopeless. It seems like we're out. But that's the nourishment that this team have from the fans. We're not folding up like wallets or lawn chairs. We're loving this team without conditions. This is unconditional love to its most. One can say that it's delusional. One can say that it's idiotic. 
but that's the key to being a DC for life. It don't stand for DC for when we winning. It don't stand for DC for when everything is right. It's saying DC for life. Appreciate you guys. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Yes, my guy, Asmodeus, the law of probability. Yeah, that's all. That's what we got to lead on now. <laughs> yeah, that boy hit me with the truth right there. The probability, yeah. Give me my thing, you. Yeah. Damn. Come on, Damn. baby. We up out, baby. Come on and roll those credits. Come on, baby. Oh, we don't got no credits today. But shout out to Brandy. Brandy! What love to you? Shout out to all my dogs, man. See y'all tomorrow, man. Come on. Greens and pinks is all the same. I still say and roll my chains. Take some losses when I play. Charge it to the game. Hey, which one of these we should be rolling in tonight, baby? Come on. Let's hit the town. Got to take them to the car wash. Hey. Size off for the bag, and that's worth more to me. Come on, I mix Nike with designer. I experiment. You just rock what's on the shelf, and I'm not feeling it. Search for the one, but baby girl, it's not the real as this. Can't trust the soul, I keep a hammer calling to the gym. I've been really in the field, love the rush, I love the feel. Lately, I just wanna run it up. Don't need no deals, I make the deal. Have to take it to a meal. Lately, I just wanna run it up. Hey, let's go ahead and give this a run it up outro, baby. Come on. Hey, come on. I just be off the dome. I never own no chrome. Come on. Too many foes and clothes. Yeah, yeah. I be at home alone. I be in zones alone. I be on road alone. Come on, baby. Agent Zero. Yo. Lately, I just wanna run. They need to go ahead and give him that zero number, man, so I can see it on him. Spot Lately, I just wanna run. Prepare for glory. They can come closer than close. Nobody. Yeah. Original, they never will be. Does it matter? All right. Appreciate you, Kelvin. Thank you. If I offended anyone, charge it to the beard, not the heart. Shout out to Kevin Hart. (laughs) It all rhymes for your mind in times without hesitations or deviations to the matter in time. Huh? Come on. For the poet law. Check out Law Nation Motivation Channel, too. It's growing. Yeah. Got to get deep in it, though. Got to get deep. Beyond the ice wall. What we tell them? Don't let the street lights hit you. Don't let them hit you. Hey. Come on.
Shout out to your toxic splendor. Where the swallow up cowboys at? <laughs> at the street. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Shout out to J Tuck. Mock draft too, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I be Until next time, Cowboy Nation. If a paper crank can fly, we about. Because I won't. Then forever doesn't feel that far. Fucking bet against me. Bet so against far, me. Tell me so it's not gonna happen. Far. Tell me it's gonna fail. If a baby great cat fly. I love every minute of it. You should be a monster if you say brave and you're terrified. Fly that is brave. There's no hats, bro. It's you against you. You against you. And if you misunderstand that, you have a real problem. There's a verse in the Bible that says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So whatever you're thinking about, that's who you will become. Mm. Because thoughts lead to actions, actions lead to habits, habits lead to lifestyle. And See, that you lifestyle in is what dictates who you are, brother. If you want to be great, you want to be the best mother ever at what you do, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody. Because you're going to be so obsessed and so driven to get there. See, when you invest in something and you hustle and you work for something, you got a different type of attachment to it. Mm. You're going to have a cold day in hell for somebody to try to take this from you. We live by this. We die by this. We don't surrender. We don't retreat. Every man must search his own soul. I listen to that quote every morning. I want to get mine out the mud. I want mine out the dirt. I, I don't want no handouts. I don't want no 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 celebrity to co-sign me right. and, and somebody to see me in the street and say, I remember when such and such put you on. No. Oh, it may sound harsh, but I'm going to beat myself up so the world can't beat me up. Because mm -hmm. the world is a cruel place. It can be a beautiful place if you allow it to be. And once your perspective changes, that's when miracles happen. What else I got to conquer so I can get to the next level? What else? There's always going to be giants at the gate. If it ain't rough, it ain't us. Let's go. Wow. So I it ain't like, why me? It's like, why not me? Let's do it. The flowers don't chase the bees. The flowers just are.